wouldn't automatically associate coughs with clogs. But right in the middle of town is the Clog Barn, Australia's only working clog workshop. Owner John Hartsooker learnt the ancient craft from his father, who migrated from Holland decades ago. Although this original version of the crock has been around for more than a thousand years. Well, I have to say, I've never seen a clog made before. What do people think when they come in here? Most people are fascinated by it, um, and we see people coming back year after year. We have people that have got a yearly photograph of the kids sitting in the clogs out the front. And they're not coming back to sue you for the damage? No, not know. at all. <laughs> no. Traditionally, these hardy foot coverings were used by farmers out in the fields all day. They kept their feet dry and warm. Although I'm not sure that one of the earliest pieces of footwear would really be that comfortable. But John begs to disagree. If you've got the right size and your foot is the correct shape for a pair of clogs, not a problem. And you say they're quite a healthy thing to wear. They are. Your feet. Yep, there you get full support all through the arches. So, so where an old leather pair of shoes, as it gets old, goes flat, they stay the right shape. Well, you learn something new every day. John uses the age-old method of making the footwear. These machines have been cranking out clogs for more than half a century. And here we have our clog. It's all yours. Have you got anything in a brown? Well, our machines came from, uh, from Holland. A guy brought them out in 1955, and we came across them in 85. 55. 1955? What a good year. <laughs> and John and I share a very special bond. John supported old 55 in a gig at the Ambassador Hotel in Newcastle, Newcastle. Yep. many years ago, and on, on that occasion we were legless. <laughs> We wouldn't have needed these. <laughs> That's the <a> point. <laughs> Continuing with the Dutch theme, there's also a miniature village at the back of the clog barn. Working windmills, an electric railway and superb replicas of ancient castles, bakeries and houses. It's well worth a visit. It's the attention to detail that will take your breath away. It's really something out of the ordinary. Of course, clog making and miniature village sightseeing is hungry work. But that's okay because John's place also has a cafe serving authentic Dutch pancakes. 